Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today uh, by His Excellency Mon Monchita Ibrahim, who is Under Secretary for the Deputy Minister for the Department of Information and Communication Technologies for the Philippines. Mr. Ibrahim, thank you very much for being with us today. And uh, good morning, and uh, thank you for this opportunity. I'm very pleased. Well, it's wonderful to have you in the studio. Thank you. So I wanted to ask you, just first of all, smart digital transformation is the theme of this year's event. What does that mean to the Philippines? A lot of things, okay. Uh, first and foremost, uh, opportunities for digi digital jobs, okay. Uh, second is uh, for our uh, business people, the opportunity to expand their business without actually physically uh, was this, uh, expanding it. And third is actually providing uh, an excellent experience for our citizens when they transact with government. And in terms of the, the, the smart technologies nowadays, what do you think is the biggest single opportunity offered by them? Okay, uh, we've actually used this, we've, we've set our aspirations, uh, we have uh, a national plan, okay, and uh, for example, we, uh, we've decided that, uh, you know, the delivery channel of choice is going to be the smartphones of the people, okay? So that they can actually transact with government at any time, anywhere, okay? And uh, was, is, uh, be able to uh, do end-to-end -end transaction with government. It's also about uh, was, is, uh, uh, being able to work from home, okay? And uh, if, uh, Philippines today is actually one of the global leaders in, uh, was, is in the BPO, uh, the business process outsourcing uh, was, is space. Okay. However, there are places in the Philippines uh, where connectivity is not yet present. Okay. And uh, meaning to say investments are really not trekking uh, uh, down to, to, to the rural areas. So the question is, uh, what opportunities are available for the talents out there okay, in the countryside? So this, uh, was this, this uh, emerging uh, 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 advances in digital technologies uh, is now providing a way for these talents to just stay there actually and be able to provide you know services from home. Exactly. So they that's don't definitely something very very exciting for yes. everyone. In exactly. So they don't have to travel a million miles basically to make yes. make a living, which I yes, think yes, is, yes, is yes, a, a, yes, a vital yes. thing. Of course. I mean, connectivity is very much key to the digital economy. I wanted to ask you in terms of improving rural broadband uh, areas, area coverage. Uh, how, how do you think one can do that, in your opinion? Uh, well, let me start by saying that in the Philippines today, uh, about thirty percent, okay, uh, is not yet covered by what is by broadband. When we say broadband, it's actually uh, you know fiber, which is a, a fiber broadband. We have Wi-Fi broadband, mobile broadband, but uh, it's not really that uh, was that robust. Now we recently was this launched uh, our uh, five-year national broadband plan, which would involve uh, government uh, spending money to actually connect all of these islands. Uh, one thing that we need to understand about the Philippines is uh, we are in an archipelago. Okay. It's not easy putting in all the submarine cables, uh, cables out there just to be able to connect islands. Okay. And uh, we have, uh, in, since 1995, we have deregulated our, was this, our, our telecommunications industry. So it's really now the private sector who's uh, was this, was, was, was driving uh, market ad, uh, advances there. However, these are, of course, business driven. Okay. If they don't see business uh, viability out there, okay, they actually do not give priority to this area. So it's now incumbent for the government to actually, you know, put in the infrastructure there and probably even let uh, was this, this uh, private uh, sector telecommunications company to co-use co 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 uh, the, the infrastructure. And in terms of uh useful case studies perhaps that you could share here in the Philippines to, to shorten the, the, the right-of-way process? Okay, uh, we're actually in the process of uh, having a, a policy, a national policy which is going to be signed by the president that would allow, uh, that would mandate, okay, uh, the, was this the, 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 the physical infrastructure people to automatically put in uh, a lot of space there for fiber to be easily laid down, okay? So can you imagine, uh, the, the, we understand that there was this right of way, ROW is uh, yeah, everywhere, it's actually an issue. How about making use of this, uh, was this uh, you know, government assets out there, okay? Uh, we have 
tens of thousands of kilometers of roads are there that we can actually use. And you're a uh, participant here for the first time at ITU Telecom World, is that right? We're, we're, we're so excited, okay. Uh, we've given our commitment to the Secretary General that uh, you can, this time we're actually going to put in uh, uh, a Philippine pavilion there. Uh, of course, we need to also be was this exposed because uh, we're going to be running again for uh, was this for the governing council uh, next year, okay? And uh, we need to tell them, yeah, Philippines is uh, out here, and uh, was this uh, working with you guys? So we're so excited, and uh, you know, uh, it's also providing us the, was this the right uh, venue for us to network with the other with the other ITU member countries here. You've been attending the sessions here, the the discussions. Definitely, and uh, you know, very interesting uh, sessions. Okay, I think uh, more than the exhibition. Okay, it's actually the session that's really the real meat of was this of, uh, of this uh, uh, conference uh, uh, of uh, ITO Telecoms World 2017. Uh, especially uh, was this uh, you know, listening to thought leaders on uh, talking about artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, you know, coupled with uh, was this uh, Internet of Things and coupled with big data, um, mobile was this uh, 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 technology, fantastic, fantastic was this uh, opportunity for learning, yeah, especially for us. Great. And uh, we can learn from you as well, I'm sure. So that's wonderful. Well, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today, and we wish you the very best of luck. And thank you for your attendance here at uh, ITU Telecom World. Thank you so much for this opportunity, and uh, good luck to everyone. Thank you. Great stuff.